a chemtrail, two chemtrails, and two UFOs spotted in the same video. We're getting to it right now. It's quite incredible. Uh, Brett had a good eye as we get footage in live as it comes in. We zoomed up on Brent's first observation of this black orb sitting there as the plane goes by, or two planes. Brent, what's your first uh, impression on the anomaly? That's definitely a good question, Blake. First off, I would like to say that, you know, we receive a lot, I mean a lot of chemtrail footage. And usually I'll pass it by, but you know, we're always keeping an eye on everything that comes in and we got to observe it and screen everything out. And once I saw that left object next to these two chemtrails and then the next one popped up, I was like, wow, Blake, we need to show this on third phase of moon. Two UFOs, like I said, in one shot. First, the anomaly on the left, the black orb, but then the this next one that shoots down right across and across the chemtrail this thing's quite large in my opinion this is my take on chemtrails if you're going to send it to third phase of moon at least have a ufo next to it and if you got two that's even better because uh every time i see chemtrails i'm looking for a ufo tracking it and in this case bingo twice two shots of a UFO in one uh, single run of a video. And what he captures next, it's quite amazing. Two hours later, it's quite, uh, he captured it with an iPhone 6 Plus camera. He says it's not the best, but it's not the worst. Take a look at this. These series of photos, in my opinion, are quite incredible. Brent, your opinion on the plasmic uh, green, whatever that is, uh, spiritual being or something but I'm more interested in this triangular shape like cut out of a cloud this is what comes to mind Blake CERN harp experiments happening right now over large cities and like you said it's a cut out pie right out of the clouds you know clouds natural formations this is unnatural because this is not elegant. This is something I would have to say extraterrestrial or military in my concern. I'm thinking TR-3B that was been hovering in those skies that may have cloaked out and disrupted the atmosphere that stuck around for quite some time. Due to the description, I'm believing he believes what he sees is not normal. Absolutely, Brent. Uh, in my opinion, not normal at all. A triangular shape formation cut out in a geometric scale. He also states that it was captured in Orland Park, Illinois. If anybody was in that area and captured the same phenomenon, you let us know. We'd sure like to see it. That's why it goes down right here at third phase of moon. We analyze it. We enhance it. Sometimes people dismiss a UFO video because they don't see the objects but when we zoom in they're not a drone usually you don't see drones in the skies run by a military but is this a drone Brent in your opinion not that we're aware of the people aren't maybe the military aren't either these could be extraterrestrial craft visiting our skies and observed by our military right now Elling reverse technology I think we're witnessing right now in this video. I think the major media is finally waking up. We've seen some major media coverage of what Third Phase of Moon just broke a couple days ago ahead of major media about this major mega structure possibly discovered harnessing energy from a star. Could you imagine this? new discoveries information coming in i've mentioned it just as it broke just about three days ago that these mega structures let's get a hold of this could be the size or larger maybe much larger than jupiter our gas planet right here in our solar system this is something to behold these alien beings that are 1500 light years ahead of us who knows where they're at now this is old light that we're looking at 
it's basically looking at our human species going back 1500 years back and we weren't very far in those days and we're just basically peaking on a small peak maybe the tip of the iceberg in technology right now what we're seeing right there proves that aliens are basically traveling solar systems to gather material to build I'm saying what's happening here to make it short is these structures are so large they must be traversing galaxies why aren't they here now I believe they are exactly we already know that they've been here and maybe there are certain humans around the planet that are aware of this and have privy to this tech that's happening right now that's what third phase of moon is all about getting to this tech that the people deserve let's lighten it up let's go to uh, Australia Darren Wilson submits this photograph of himself a selfie of a tattoo a third phase of moon tat wow I think there's one of our biggest fans it's quite amazing and speaking of fans we're looking for investigators people have a good eye spotting what a UFO is or not we're inviting people from around the world to reach out to Third Phase of Moon. Go to our About page. Our contact information is there. We want to broadcast two correspondence, video as it comes in, photographic evidence, Skype interviews. Everybody stay tuned. Look forward to the collaboration. Brent, thanks for joining us right here. Hey, thanks, Blake. Yeah, big news this week. Thanks, everybody. Keep watching. Keep watching. Exactly. And keep your eyes on the skies, everybody. Blake Cousins. We'll see everybody again next time. Third. Those aren't those though. There were, there were more.